guys! Welcome to this mini studio tour. So, for this video, ipapakita ko sa inyo kung anong meron sa maliit na space na to, kung saan natin ginagawa yung mga artworks natin. Para sa mga interesadong mag-start mag-paint, ipapakita ko din kung anong mga basic materials na kailangan ninyo para makapagsimula. So, samahan niyo akong explore ang aking mini art studio. So first, meron tayo ditong ring light para even yung light natin for video recording at para rin mas ma-appreciate mo yung color na ginagamit mo for painting. What I really like about this ring light is pwede mong i-change yung color based sa mood mo or kung ano man yung gusto mo. At, at the same time, pwede mo rin siyang i-ding. So, I got this from Lazada for only $19. studio is this organizer trolley na very efficient for storing and organizing your materials. I got this online also from Shopee. So actually, second purchase ko tong trolley kasi yung unang nabili ko medyo bulilit yung dumating. So nabudol tayo doon. Isang tip yan for making online purchase. Check nyo guys yung size before hitting checkout. So since andito na rin lang tayo sa trolley na to, check na natin anong nasa loob niya. So first, meron tayo ditong plastic palette knives, meron tayong metal palette knives for mixing colors and for adding textures. Meron din tayong large brushes for large scale paintings. Meron tayo ditong bagong flat brush. Marami tayong dito brushes dito, usually ginagamit ko for portraits. Uh, different angle brushes na short handles. Meron din tayong long handle brushes dito. So, sa right side naman, nandito yung mga acrylic paints natin, which are mostly from Daler Rowney and Bebeo Acrylics. Yan, maubos na tong isang to. Sa second layer naman, nandito yung uh, oil painting set ko. Oil paint set. Uh, I got all of these paints from Overjoyed uh, Art Shop dito sa Singapore. Meron naman tayo ditong small divider para sa mga auxiliary items at saka mga mediums for painting. So first, meron tayo ditong gesso primer. Ginagamit to para i-prime yung canvas bago mo siya i-paint. Um, meron din tayo ditong resin pour medium. Meron tayo ditong water spray bottle para hindi kagad-agad matutuyo yung acrylic mo. Uh, meron tayo ditong pouring medium para sa abstract painting. Meron tayo ditong linseed oil na ginagamit kong medium for oil. Ito yung fluorescent paints na hindi ko pa natatry. Meron tayo ditong liquid varnish para glossy yung outcome ng painting mo. Meron tayong spray varnish na for easy application and turpentine for oil paintings. Next level naman, meron tayo ditong uh, round canvas. Marami tayo ditong canvas panels mostly for practice. At saka yung ating mga sponge brushes na usually ginagamit ko for varnishing. Moving on naman sa ating desk, nandito yung ating rattan made basket kung saan natin nilalagay lahat ng mga small uh, loose paint tubes. So as you can see guys, meron tayong mixed brands dito like Winsor & Newton, Art Ranger, etc. So dyan sila nakalagay lahat para hindi sila makalat. <laughs> So, next naman is uh, ang, ang ating traditional wooden palette. So, ito yung madalas yung nakikita na ginagamit ng mga professional artists. Medyo maliit lang siya yung version na nandito sa akin. So, maganda yung angle niya for holding the palette para secure siya sa kamay mo. But for me, personally, hindi ko siya marirecommend kasi napakahirap niyang linisin. Especially acrylic paint yung ginagamit ko. Madaling-madali siyang matuyo. At nasa stock siya dun sa pores ng wood. So as you can see guys, nagamit ko na siya sa other side. Hindi ko siya nalinis. So mostly for display purposes na lang talaga siya. Yung mas madalas kong ginagamit na palette ay itong white plastic palette which I bought from Umi Strong Art Hub. So meron siyang wooden stopper sa likod. Uh, malawak yung space niya for mixing your colors. At ang maganda sa kanya ay napakadali niyang linisin. So, kapag may nanikit man na acrylic paint sa, sa palette mo na to, kailangan mo lang ng sponge or scotch bright at soapy water para kuskusin. At malinis na siya ulit, ready for your next uh, painting session. Diba? Most of my mediums are acrylic paints. Kaya kailangan mo din ng mug of water, glass of water, tumbler of water, kahit anong uh, makita mo sa household na pwedeng paglagyan ng water. Yan. Kasi since uh, it's water-based, yung medium, uh, water lang yung kailangan mo para i-rinse off yung brush 
for your next uh, color. Then, next naman is itong brush washer. Gusto kong i-share sa inyo from Montmart, which I bought for $12.70. So, optional lang naman to, but I highly recommend kasi very effective siya for cleansing and for drying your brushes. Especially kung nag invest kayo sa mga mamahaling brushes. Napakaganda niya para mapatagal niya yung buhay ng brush niyo. So, as you can see, it's made of stainless steel para hindi siya makalawangin. At sa loob niya na to, meron siyang screen. Parang metal screen siya na detachable. So, ang purpose nitong screen na to is dito mo siya irarob yung bristles ng brush mo. Kasi usually, kapag ginamit mo na yung brush, hindi mo may iwasan na maraming masastock dun sa bristles na paints. Usually, kapag acrylic paint yung ginagamit mo. So, ang kailangan mo lang gawin is irarob mo yung bristles doon sa screen na yun para malusen up yung mga stock na paints at hindi na siya manigas doon sa bristles kasi yun yung isang sa mga factors na nakakasira ng brushes kapag natuyo na at nanigas yung paint doon sa bristles mo so bukod doon dahil nga meron siyang spring na brush holder uh, doon mo rin siya ilalagay after you wash your brush i-stick mo lang siya doon sa sa spring brush holder para mapatuyo mo siya ng upside down which is the most ideal uh, position para sa paintbrush habang dinadry. Next naman itong wooden uh, easel natin which is from Montmore Professional Series. So, Montmore, baka naman. <laughs> so, ano siya, desktop type siya na, na easel. Kaya very handy din, very portable. Ito yung box niya. So, I usually keep the box in case sa future kailangan ko siyang i-store. Then, next one naman ay itong ating standing type na wooden easel. Ito yung pinaka-pinakauna kong easel na ginamit. So, as you can see guys, napakarami niya ng paint marks kasi ang dami ng artworks, ang dami ng paintings na dumaan dito. So, very durable din. Um, but usually, I keep it for uh, this day in my my blank canvases na lang. So, this one is a Konda brand. Then, next naman ay itong ating uh, stainless steel black uh, portable easel. So, marirecommend to, ko to guys kung gusto nyo mag-outdoor painting kasi napaka-portable niya. Pwede mo siyang i-fold na parang size na lang siya ng umbrella. So, and very lightweight din siya. Yan. So, adjustable din yung stand niya. Very lightweight, very durable. Dito naman sa drawer natin, dito natin nilalagay yung mga miscellaneous stationary items natin like yung scissors, nandito yung ruler, nandito yung mga markers and pens, meron tayong pencils, cutters, meron din tayong erasers, meron tayo ditong measuring tape for some reason. <laughs> Ayan, meron tayo ditong sharpener, andito din yung fragile stickers, at yung, syempre yung brand stickers natin for packaging. So yan, KT Paints. At syempre guys, hindi mawawala yung ating fine art stretched canvases. Yan, so these stocks are from Overjoyed Store dito sa Singapore. So ang maganda dito guys sa canvas is 100% cotton with medium texture. Actually, binasa ko lang siya. Pero honestly guys, magandang quality. Stapled at the back and it's already gesso primed. So bubuksan mo na lang siya and ready na siya para pintahan. Kailangan nyo rin guys ng rugs or old clothes para punasan yung paint brushes ninyo. Ito naman guys is extra lang naman. So, I usually light a scented candle and play some good music while painting para mas maset lalo yung mood ko. So, pag ginagawa ko to, lalong nakaka-relax and enjoyable yung painting session ko. So, bonus tip lang guys. So, yun lang guys. Kung na-enjoy nyo tong video na to, sana i-hit nyo na yung like and subscribe button. At saka, sana magkita-kita tayo ulit next time kapag nag-share ako ng mga tutorials and other art-related contents. So yun, see you next time guys. Happy painting!